Well, the Claremont Hotel today is having a KPMG banking seminar and uh, guest speaker is our Treasury Minister. And there's a few jitters around, isn't there? We've touched on this uh, with KPMG before now about future policy the UK's got and will the Isle of Man be included? Can you put into layman's terms what exactly we're talking about? Well, there's major changes underway for the banking industry following the difficulties which have occurred over the last three years. Now, the UK government has quite rightly, in my opinion, decided that they, they need to change the current way that they have a potential liability for banks. So um, what they want to do is to slim down the big banks and separate, the, separate their activities. Their activities really, um, in simplistic terms, fall into two areas. The first is the high-tech um, capital markets projects, and then the other side is what you and I would regard as the day-to-day -day banking, the so-called retail operation. So what they want to do is to split the retail operation from the more high-tech stuff, I think is the best way of putting it. Uh, the retail operation in the UK would be guaranteed by the British government. The banks would pay a fee to the British government for that insurance policy. Everything which stands outside the retail operation would not be guaranteed by the UK government. Now, when the proposals were originally brought out as a result of the Vickers report uh, in November last year, there was no mention of the Crown Dependencies, that's the Isle of Man, Jersey and Guernsey. Now, um, I did speak to the British Bankers Association, I went down and, and discussed the position with them, and working with them, we've lobbied the UK government to ensure that when they come out with more detailed proposals, the position of the Crown Dependencies has been acknowledged and at the Mansion House speech Chancellor George Osborne did say that they now recognised the position of the Crown Dependencies and they were going to consider how they would deal with that going forward. It's important for the UK government because of the very substantial funding that comes through the Crown Dependencies which has been put in an independent report at £250 billion. Pounds. But, I mean, there's also an implication here, especially, you know, Isle of Man, let's talk about us. I mean, if we're not in, in, the, in the group, what would be the implications for us? Well, it would mean that we would have to review um, the, how the banking industry works on the Isle of Man, and also, too, the banks would have to review their position as well. But um, I have acknowledged that we are at a crossroads. We're working with the UK Treasury, the British Bankers Association, and the individual banks on the island to see what they feel is the way forward. The difficulty is at the moment that one size will probably not fit all, so that there will be different views taken by different banks on the island. But um, an ideal scenario would be that um, they would have the option to either step into the ring fence or step out, as the case may be. I mean, finances are, are fickle people. If they think there's any worry in the future about their money and whatever, they, they could up and go, could they? I mean, is it that serious, potentially? No, it's not that serious. What, I, what I'm looking for, really, is to try and um, give the industry and the depositors as well, which is vitally important, some assurance about the future stability of the industry and how the depositors are protected and how the industry is regulated going forward. There will be changes, but I don't think that they're changes for the bad.